The game of the day between Park Heritage and Northview, a double overtime thriller. Here's how we got here. Seconds left in regulation. Knights with the basketball looking to tie it. It's Ethan Dehart's putback sending us to the first overtime tied at 39. Fast forward to the start of double overtime for Northview. Caleb Swearing and pull up jumper. He had 13 points today. Knights down by just one. Then it's Ethan Dehart with a steal and bringing it right at the camera for the score. Northview leads Park 43 to 42. Wolves down one when Connor Davis fights for the ball, pushes it ahead to Christian Johnson for the basket. Park up 44 to 43 with 2.20 to play. A Christian Johnson free throw ties this game at 45 with a minute and change left. He finished with 16 today. Seconds left in double overtime. Tied at 45. It's Johnson finding Connor Davis for this bucket. Wolves up with just seconds left as Caleb Swearingen heaves this one at the buzzer. It is just off the mark. Park Heritage wins a wild one in double OT, 47 to 45. Last year, we never made it this far, but we every time we played this team last year, and we only lost by four, and, we were, and the year before that, we lost to them. So this was just a big game that we wanted to win just to show them that we can play against bigger schools and win against them. And now that since we're starting, starting to start winning a lot more, we're hoping to keep this going later in the line. Oh, it's crazy. I, I like those. I, I prefer, if I can, not to hit the game winners. Just I don't like close games. But when it comes down to it, I know my team trusts me. And I got to trust my team. And, I rely, and they rely on me like I rely on them. And I know I have their full trust. And their co our coach trusted me with the shot. I'm just happy I could hit it.